Hey YouTube, this is Chasing the Wind. This is Dan with Chasing the Wind. And what I wanted to do today was take a video of some of the basics of flight for the beginners. And uh, I'm trying something new. I'm actually going to try to film my controller and film this, do a, a video overlay. So uh, let's give this a shot, but uh, this will be a little series, maybe a two or three part series. And again, this is uh, for the beginners. So beginners, what you want to do is point your quadcopter away from you and you're going to try to learn to hover. And so you give the throttle. This is what makes the uh, quadcopter move up and down. And also, as you can see, it moves it left and right. That's called yaw left and right. This stick over here does pitch and roll. So you roll forward, roll backwards, and then you pitch to the right, you pitch to the left. And so the basics are to give it a little, just till it gets off the ground. Get it a couple feet off the ground so you get rid of the ground effect. And you see, I've got a little wind out here today, so it's moving it around a little bit. And this is uh, what you've heard, uh, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Well, that's true with helicopters, that's true with quadcopters. So you're going to constantly have to monitor cars. <laughs> now, so you, what you're doing is you're constantly having to monitor your throttle over here. If it goes down, you give it just a little bit to go up. If see it's going up too high, you pull it down. And as it's coming back down, you give it a little more throttle. So you're constantly playing a ballerina here of massaging the throttle up and down. And you can see here on the right, I'm I got wind pushing me to the left, so I counteract by going to the right. Wind's probably about three or four knots right now, so it's not too bad, but it's still moving me around. So, if it gets too close to me, I pitch it forward a little bit to move it away. If it's starting to get too far away from me, I pull it back just a little bit. And I'm, so I'm constantly thinking about giving it throttle, throttle control, and if I see it moving to the left, then I pitch it over a little bit to the right. Now I let go, and it starts to move to the left again, so I pitch a little bit to the right. And so you're constantly making these small adjustments while trying to hover your quadcopter. Here comes another car. Let me back up. So once you've kind of learned how to hover somewhat into place, oh, another car, sorry. Once you've learned to sort of hover in place for a little bit, then what you want to do is you want to practice moving out and back. So give a little throttle, move out, pull back. So you're gonna roll back, you're gonna roll forward. Keep in mind watching your altitude. If you need to gain a little altitude, you give the throttle a little bit. Or if you're going too high, you reduce it. So kind of back and out. Again, the wind's pushing me around a little bit, so but out and back. All right, so once you've mastered going out and back, and I would say, you know, practice a couple of batteries on that, just going out and back, hovering, going out and back. Then practice moving, rolling, or pitching to the right. See, I'm having to bring it back down. Pitch it to the left. And I'm coming to the right. And then we'll pitch it back to the left. And you can see when I want that to stop, it's moving to the left like that. I have to counteract with a right movement. Now I want to counteract with a left movement to get it to kind of stop where I want it to. So you're constantly doing what I call the flight ballerina here, where you're adjusting the throttle, 
We're not really messing with y'all right now because we're keeping the nose faced uh, away from us. Remember, we've learned to pitch back. We've learned to pitch forward. We've learned to control our altitude. So if it's getting too high, we pull it down. It goes down too far. We give it just a little bit and it's all small increments. We're also learning to roll to our right, roll to our left, and back to our right. And you want to try to keep your um, you want to try to keep your altitude somewhat constant if you can. Again, I'm fighting a breeze out here a little bit. But that's one thing to practice too, is real slowly go to the right, keep your altitude, go to the left, here comes the car. Alright. <clears throat> These are the really basic fundamentals. You've got to get this down before you can progress into turns, flying head in anything else you've got to get the basics of hovering and basic left right forward and backwards movement forward it's backwards forward come back over this way bring the altitude up a little bit bring it down a little bit you see just barely just massaging that throttle up and down as i need to if the um, nose of the quadcopter starts to turn on you either left or right use that stick to straighten it back out you always want to keep that pointed away from you when you're just learning the basics so this is going to be lesson one on basic hovering and controlling your quad in a out back right and left movement and then when you want to go set it down realize when you get down towards the ground you've got air from those props hitting the ground that air is coming back up and that's called ground effect it's going to move you around a little bit so uh, landing and uh, takeoff can be the most unstable time of uh, part of your flight so let's go ahead and land it down kill that and then that kills the props so i hope lesson one was useful lesson two we're going to learn about uh, flying head in that's with the nose facing you and uh, we're also going to start practicing turns to the left and to the right and doing figure eights so look forward to uh, part two of this uh, series and i'm thinking there'll be at least three parts to this okay again this is dan with chasing the wind signing out and i'll see you on the next one take care